President Uhuru Kenyatta has expressed confidence in the capacity of his cabinet and other senior members of his executive just a day after the top leaders of the executive branch of government were asked to take time out of their busy schedules. The head of state says he believes in the individual and collective ability to deliver his agenda for the nation. The message from State House coming in the wake of widespread speculations to the effect that the president was keen to compose a new cabinet that would ensure his legacy is fulfilled, Sarafina Robi reports. The cabinet and senior members of the executive will go on races starting this week until the end of the month. This follows a directive from the office of the president requiring highest ranked members of the executive to take a break from weekly cabinet committee meetings as well as working tours, site visits and field engagements. But the news of President Kenyatta asking his entire cabinet to proceed on a two-week leave sparked speculations of a possible reorganization of the top leadership of the executive branch of government. The speculations prompted a clarification from State House with Head of Public Service Joseph Kinyua dismissing the rumors terming them for fetched. In a statement to Newsrooms, Kenya noted that the head of state and government remains steadfast in his confidence with the membership and capacity of his cabinet and the senior ranks of the executive. He further says the president has faith in the individual and collective ability to support in the delivery of his agenda for the nation as he continues to steer Kenya further along the path of the most consequential era of transformation in our nation's history. Can your father noted that during the cabinet's time away from official duties, the delivery of government services will continue uninterrupted. During the working recess, the cabinet secretaries and principal secretaries will not have scheduled engagements unless otherwise directed by the president of urgent meetings, cases of national emergency and any other exceptional circumstances. They shall be allowed to take leave from office, subject to the prior approval of the president. According to State House, the latest cabinet calendar is in tandem with the practice within the Commonwealth and heralds a new tradition in the management of cabinet business. The nation's cabinet now joins parliament and the judiciary in implementing periodic working recesses. For Channel 1 News, I'm Sarafina Robbie.